Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh, kitty! Hi, baby! Who is it? It's kitty! She came to join us! She just drank for 30 seconds straight. Say hi! Look over here! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and today I'm going to be reviewing a drugstore mascara for you. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga uh, mascara right here. Woo! This is in the color Black is Black 374. It, it is not waterproof. I'll go ahead and show you the packaging. The packaging looks pretty similar. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same packaging as the Million Dollar Lashes. Um, is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called, except it's pink and black, which I think this is super cute. This is the brush. It is a cone shape. Um, it has a thicker bottom, and it goes to a point at the top. It is a normal br brush bristles. They are normal brush bristles. Say that three times fast. And uh, they're not plastic, so for those of you who don't like the the plastic ones, this is going to be a great option for you. It is pretty flexible. It has um, a little if you can see here a little joint there where you can move the mascara up and down the wand at first I remember the first time I came across something like this I think it was in the falsies uh, mascara and I was like well I don't want to try that that looks dumb it won't get in my lashes but I actually really like it when they have a joint I feel like um, it moves a lot better with the lashes and it doesn't pull as much so typically when I buy mascaras I usually get the waterproof kind just because I find it holds they hold curl better and they last longer so I'll go ahead and curl my lashes and then show you the application Alright, so here are my lashes when they're curled. I will be looking at the viewfinder as my mirror, so you might see me doing a little bit of this, and I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get to the application. Alright, so here's my first coat. Let's make sure that the camera is in focus. There we go. So there is one coat. As you can see, it does a pretty good job at separating the lashes and adding volume. Um, also, a thing I like about the mascara is it doesn't take away the length of my natural lash. I find a lot of the time mascaras will get super clumpy and so they make the lashes look um, stubbly, but I don't find that this one does that. So here's the first coat. So here's the completion of the second coat. As you can tell, my lashes look pretty nice. Uh, they don't look very clumpy, but they are going to get there if I add another coat. I have done three coats before, and three coats is just a bit too much for my lash, um, or my lashes. So I'll go ahead and complete the other eye, and then I will complete my review. Alright, so here's the completed look. As you can tell, my left eye doesn't like to hold mascara the same as my right eye does. It's a little bit more stubborn and the lashes are a bit harder to work with, but ultimately the result is really great and I actually really like this mascara. The only issue I have is that it does flake off pretty easily. I can usually only wear this for about five hours before I start getting super flaky. Now I am a person who likes to touch my face. I just do it all the time. I am a contact wearer, so I'm always like rubbing my eyes, which doesn't help. Um, so maybe if you don't touch your face very often, this wouldn't do that as much on you. I'm not quite sure. I think that if they did have a waterproof formula, I would like this a bit more. The curl doesn't last as long as I would like it to. It doesn't hold my curl, but it keeps my lashes separated, lengthened, and it keeps them looking pretty full at the base, which is what 
I, I really like in a mascara. For those of you with sensitive eyes, I do recommend this product. I can't wear multiple mascaras simply because my eyes just freak out. They get super red, irritated, I start getting, uh, like I can't wear my, I can't wear my contacts anymore. And I just have like this magic, massive allergic reaction to many mascaras I come across. But I find that I don't have any irritation issues with this mascara. I give this mascara a thumbs up. Go ahead and try it. It's a great price point and it does wonders for your lashes. It's pretty similar to the Million Dollar Lashes, so if you already have that, I wouldn't suggest getting this. They're not much different. The only difference is really the wand um, and the cute packaging. But anyway, go ahead and uh, like this video if you uh, found this helpful. If there are any products that you would like me to review, go ahead and put those in down below go ahead and put those in the down bar below as well is that even a thing anymore that was like way old youtube um anyway so thanks so much for joining me today you guys have a great memorial day and i will talk to you later bye bye wait till kitty's done drinking